Hey guys, what's up? It's Scott from Your Box of Mind and in this video I'm going to give you one of my secrets to getting good at boxing really fast. This has worked well for me and my I've had 40 fights and looking back I remember the time where I improved the most and I fought the best and everyone I fought I was beating, I was on a winning streak, I was winning all the time. What I was doing is this, okay? So what I call it is, I call it active learning or emulation. You've, you've got to emulate one of the best boxers in the whole world at your weight and someone that you, you, you look like the same kind of build, same kind of style as you, someone that you like their style. Okay, so for example, I used Miguel Cotto because he was like my weight and he had his hands up, chin down. And he came forward putting on pressure and he had the left hook and the liver shot and he cut off the ring, you know, and he could also move as well, but mainly he was just so tough, had a lot of punching power in his hands, he would come forward, cut off the ring, throw them left hooks, throw them liver shots and drop the guys, you know. So I used to um, study him all the time. I watched all his fights and I would get a notepad, a pen, and I'd write down active learning, okay, and I would just bullet point anything I seen in his fights that he was doing well. I would focus on what he was doing right, I wouldn't focus on what he was doing wrong. So I would concentrate on his guards up, his tight guard, you know, he's, he's cutting off the ring. He, he has a special, uh, he had this like quarter step where he would jump out just a little bit and then back in again with a counter to offset the rhythm. He, he would just keep putting pressure on, he'd have heavy hands. I would just be bullet pointing everything that I noticed he was doing good on here and then when I went and trained I would just imagine I had those qualities and I would use them things in training and, and it would work and I would, I would improve so much so it's not enough to just go and train every day and smash the bags up and think that hard work enough is going to get you there you need to learn from the best okay and you need to think about technique like tightening up, chin down and every time you, you learn something new and you write it down, you go and practice it in training, okay? So you get into this like, this routine of learning and training and uh, let's see if I can get one of his fights up here. Um, just so I can give you a quick example. So, uh, Right, so we go. So you put him on. He wants a fight. This is the second Marjorie fight where he kicked his ass because he was pissed off that he was cheating with the the hand wrap. So he got his payback here. It's a really good fight, and you'll watch the whole fight. And you'll take bullet points whenever you notice something he's doing good. Okay, you you'll take like look at the guard, the tight guard. His chin's down. His eyes on him. You know he's um. He's, um, he's, he's leading behind the jab, he's using the jab and then he's getting his distance with the jab and then he's letting his hands go when he's in range, when he's in his range and then he's, you know, so he's leading the jab, that sharp jab always in his face so you're taking notes, tight guard, chin down, you know and then when you train, you're going to um, practice using some of these traits yourself, okay and if you keep practicing it, you're going to become it um, you're going to develop so much faster and at a much better rate because you're you're picking up the good habits of the best in the world. Okay, so watch all their fights, study everything, maybe watch a, a fight every day and then train. Okay, try not do too many different boxers, choose one and watch his whole career. Watch his training, watch his fights, okay? And not until you've mastered that boxer should you find another one that's a similar weight to you and start learning off him. More is not better. You want one or two, the best in the world. You want to pick up all their good traits and you want to emulate them. And when you're training, okay, you'll put yourself in that vibration of that of that fighter. See, look, he's in letting his hands go in range, he's got a um, wide stance for his feet. Chin down, eyes on opponent, tight guard, taking notes of all these good points. Okay? So if you so that will get you good fast. Combine 
learning, studying, studying tape, picking up the good points and then practicing it in your training. And stay in motion, train, fight, train, fight, study, train, fight, study. Okay?